there was starting to be conflicting interests um, in the, you know, on stage and in the show, and you know, and it just um, started becoming more and more noticeable. I guess if you could really say it. Um, and still remembering what my gig was was you know I had nothing to do with all of that, and there were a lot of things going on that just didn't know, didn't understand, didn't know. Um, I just wasn't privy to, to all this, these things that were going on. But it was pretty obvious that things um, were not going as planned. So uh, um, it just, I guess, all reached a boiling point where, you know, things had to change one way or another. Um, so that's when I got uh, called in and um, said, do you want to be a part of the show as, as a band leader? Um, but keeping in mind that Bramford and I are old friends, you know, so, and he said, well, you know, I'm going to have to, you know, uh, I, don't, I can't do this anymore. And um, so I remember saying, well, let's just talk about it, man. You know, let's don't be so hasty. Let's, you know, and I think we may have kept him there for another six or seven, eight months or something. Um, I said, man, give it a, another, you know, he's, you know, uh, all right, all right, and, you know, because I've said you're probably going to affect a lot of people's, you know, jobs and things like that or whatever, you know. Um, but in the end, I, you know, agreed with him that, you know, okay, you've convinced me <laughs> that maybe things should change. But, I mean, he really, you know, uh, stayed longer and tried to, you know, acclimate himself to the situation and everything, and uh, uh, it just wasn't to be. There was so much going on at the time. I mean, uh, Jay was going through his thing with his uh, manager, with Helen, and Branford was going through stuff with saying, you know, you know, you're a jazz musician, what are you doing on TV? You're playing all this, you know, they don't let you play. The whole, so everybody was just be getting bombarded with all of this, and the you know the show wasn't being reviewed well you know the show wasn't good the whole I mean everything was just you know I mean this is you know this was after this big page thing came out about Johnny Carson and you know we should you know it was just a mess everything was just in complete turmoil you know and all these things were happening at the same time so um, and everybody's kind of new to it in a sense I mean Jay of course guest hosted more than anybody had you know. Tonight. So he was probably the one that understood it more than, than anybody. Um, but at the same time, now we're doing the show. So all these things were going crazy, and, you know, we're all in a different city living and the whole thing and blah, blah, and everything was just going nuts. I, on the other hand, was kind of in a place where I could kind of watch it all because the, it wasn't directly affect, affecting me. Nobody was asking my opinion about anything. Because I just wasn't in a position. I was the guitar player in a band that did, you know, some of the arranging. So I could kind of step back and kind of watch things and see what was going on. And um, it was very, very difficult period for everybody, you know. So uh, Branford and I would talk about it or not because he was being pulled in so many different directions by, by people. So it had to be a very uh, challenging period for him mm -hmm. at the same time to make all these decisions, bring everybody out there, and now this isn't working out. I thought I was going to be able to play this and do this. Now it turns out well, you can't do this and can't do that, you know. Um, keeping in mind that you always kind of have to make adjustments, you know, when you're whatever it is, you know, if you're playing in a, a hall that's, so echoey, you can't hear anything. Okay, you have to brush, you know, the drummer. Play the whole gig with brushes. We play as quiet as possible so everybody can hear. Now, you, you, you have to be able to adjust. So this was just too big of an adjustment. This was, you know, just clearly something that they're asking of him to do that he didn't know they was going to be asked to do it. And the adjustment was just something he wasn't, um, you know, prepared to do. So once that basically became established, it would have been maybe better if it wasn't established in front of the studio uh, audience, <laughs> the television audience. We could have 
Maybe we could have just decided this. We, we have to do it on air, <laughs> you know. Um, but it can't, you know. It, it seemed like it came across pretty clear that there there was a disconnect somewhere. Um, but by the time this all played itself out and everything, we were kind of comfortable with the fact that something was was bound to change. And during this interim, Jay and I were still talking more. You know, we were still you know becoming you know more and more comfortable with each other. The whole thing, we you know, um, so this relationship with Jay and I was just steadily building in a very natural way because I had no inclination to do anything other than what I was doing. I was fine. It was, you know, I was like, I don't want to be, <laughs> you know, I, like, I like it right here. Who's the next guy going to be, you know? Bramford called and said, you know, bro, I gotta, I'm, I'm leaving the whole thing and you're the only cat in the band that's going to be able to do this, so they're going to be asking you if you want to do it or not. And I was like, well, you know, how do you feel about that? He said, don't matter how I feel, I'm, I'm leaving, you know? You know, they, they need somebody for the show. I told them you're probably the only cat in the band that could do this. So um, either that or they get somebody else that's outside of everything and, and all that. So um, Jay and I had a really brief discussion. I mean, really brief, you know? Um, and it was like, eh, you, know, uh, you know, if you like doing that, you know, yeah, we'll have fun, we'll do this, uh, good, you know? I said, all right, all right, talk to you later. Boom, and that was it. And next thing I knew, everything changed. It was, you know, uh, you know, everything was different. You know, the band was different. The everything changed around. You know, and then I started, you know, to feel some of the responsibilities of what that meant and the whole thing. You know, so it just kind of started from there. And I remember the very first day. Um, you know, I could hardly sleep you know, the night before, and my face broke out in so many bumps that I went in makeup and, you know, people were just <laughs> trying not to, I was like, you can laugh, go ahead, you can laugh, and, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, they were patting me down and patting me down, I was sweating, and bumps were all over the place and all that, and they said, just go on stage, there's nothing we can do, <laughs> you know. So it was just, I was so, so nervous, you know, and, and just terrified the whole, the whole thing, you know. Um, and it just kind of eased its way in.